Okay, I'm gonna give you a little tip on saving your vocabulary. Now you can do it several ways, but I think the best way to do it is to email it to yourself. That way it sits in your email. If you ever lose it, you can get it back. So this is on the iPad. So what you do uh, is you go to vocab, then you do choose new vocab, and you go over here to where it says menu right here. And after you get menu, you are go down here where it says import export, which makes sense. And then what you're going to do, of course, is export and share. You could Dropbox or you could import it to iTunes. But I think the easiest thing is to just hit this one that says export and share. And then it asks you which one do you want to. So you take the child or the individual's file that you want to save. You could rename it now. I, you could name it something new if you wanted to, but I'd leave it the same and say done. And what's nice is now it says to you, well, which one of these formats do you want to do it in? And here's where you could airdrop it if you wanted to if, or, or, or make, use it in a message. I think the best way to do it is in an email. That way it stays in your email. And then you say, who do I want to email that to? And I'm going to email this to my wife because I'm using her device. And so it's going to be from, I'm just going to call this test. Just so you guys can see, I'm going to call it test one and I'm going to hit send. So that quick, I just sent that email. So you do have to have an email account on your iPad and you have to have it hooked up to Wi-Fi. But um, if I go to Cindy's email now, because I'm using her iPad, I should have got one of my own. But if I go there, you can see it's already in there. If I go there under test or under Cindy's email and I open it up, you'll see that there's an attachment in there that has words for life on it. And of course, all you do now is touch it and say, uh, that I want to, it says, where do you want to download it to? Well, of course, you want to download it to Words for Life. I'm sorry about that being upside down, but you, when you touch the attachment, so you'll say, and then you'll see, sometimes it'll say, touch to download, but when you touch it, it'll download, and then it says, where do you want to load it? So, of course, you're just going to load it to LAMP. And what's really nice about this is it just automatically puts it in here. And it says, do you, are you, do you want to import this? And you say yes. And then you can rename it again. I'll name it one or something. And you'll notice that now all of a sudden I have that one hit one. So you can take a kid's vocabulary and email it to yourself. Now if two weeks goes by and I lost my vocabulary for some reason, I could just open up my email and download that and put it back into my words for life. So I think the, it doesn't cost anything and it, it sits there in your email with a backup. You could email it to the teacher. So if the teacher's having trouble with your son or daughters or, or another individual's having trouble, you can say, hey, don't worry about it. I'll email it to you. Get on that iPad, open that email account, hit import, and then touch LAMP, and then it puts it right in there for you. Anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, let me know if there's anything we can do to help you.